Crime alert in Baldwin County, where catalytic converters continue to be a hot ticket item for thieves. This time, a body shop in Robertsdale was the target. WKRG News 5's Debbie Williams is live in Robertsdale tonight. And Debbie, the thieves got away with thousands of uh, dollars worth of catalytic converters, and they did it in just a matter of minutes. Absolutely. Robertsdale police are investigating, but they admit. They have very little to go on. Meanwhile, the business owner, frustrated as everyone else, that this keeps happening. Yellow tape marks the cars, trucks, and SUVs targeted for their catalytic converters Monday night at Cockrell's Body Shop. They hit nine vehicles in total, got six converters for an approximate value of about $19,000. They left two of the converters on the ground, a third one still hanging on the vehicle. The worst part of it is, um, you know, people are here, you know, not because they want to be anyway and have already gone through something and have to call and tell them that, you know, it's another setback and additional, you know, additional something wrong with their car. Owner Mike Hawthorne is frustrated and angry. He had to make that call and says it's time for the people buying the stolen converters to be held accountable. We need to be able to go back and call these recycle yards and say, yes, the person actually brought in eight yesterday. Let me give you his information. Here's his address. Here's his name. Here's, you know, at least something like that, I think, would have a, would have a, a decent effect. The precious metals inside the converters is where the money is. Some of those sell for $10,000 an ounce. Hawthorne says those buying the stolen goods are just as responsible as the thieves. It can't simply be cash and carry anymore. Ironically, the police department here is just a couple of blocks from that body shop. Now, the investigators say if you have any information that can help them catch these guys, to please give them a call. Live on the Baldwin County Beat in Robertsdale, Debbie Williams, WKRG News 5.